Hogwarts 14 here, and um, today I'm going to be showing you the fastest way to get to an end city. So here I'm just going to create a world called end city, and put on creative, default's fine, and then cheat. So, you want to find an open space that has, um, that would be 25 blocks around. So then you need, so, you need an end portal, an end pearl, and an eye of ender. So, the end portal goes three, and notice how I have this little thing here, and then I don't have it on that side. If I was to place it here, it wouldn't work because you see how the eye of Ender's eye shine is there like normal. Um, but then if I do it here, the the eye shine is actually that way. So if you do it that, it won't work. But so then you have to do three on each side, leaving the corners out, and then eye of Ender on all of them. And that created the end portal. Let's do this. So then, um, sometimes you'll spawn inside here, and you're gonna have to dig up. But sometimes you'll spawn like I did on a little platform. Um, and then, so to kill the the fastest way to kill the Ender Dragon is to affect yourself with um, strength. 255, which will make it so that you can kill the Ender Dragon in two hits. So then you wait for him to get close, usually when he comes onto the Dragon Breath thingy, which which, uh, which is like a special move for the Ender Dragon, you can get him. So I'm going to wait here, and... Okay. <laughs> I'll just go here and punch punch no honestly just punching him will kill him in two moves here he is no not no okay you want you want to come around here you want to come around here under dragon yeah i know you want to it's like it's it's irresistible come on Please, please, Ender Dragon. Oh, wait. <laughs> Silly me. You can just take a bow and shoot me. Oh, of course, now he goes. Wow. Yeah, he'll kill his own Ender Men, so. There. That, should, that did not kill him. Die, Ender Dragon. Die. I'll just cut across and meet him over there. Nope, he's going this way. Get him, get him, get him. No, that's fine. I'll get him when he comes off this then. Boom. Alright, so that is how to kill the Ender Dragon, and then he'll do this. But when he dies, do not go through the portal right there. Um because that's the portal to get back home. And Okay, I'll just show this to you now, because I can. Uh, the way to acquire the dragon egg is you're actually going to need um, a piston and a lever. So then you take the... You want to put the piston on one side facing the, the egg. And that did not work. There we go. And then you place the lever, 
and you push it, and then you should get the dragon egg. So there it is. Um, if you have cheats, you can also just give yourself it. So, and here is actually the way to get to the end city. Um, it's this little bedrock thing, but you have to have an end pearl, ender pearl to get through. Um, and but it has the same like uh, portalishness as the other one. So, if you just throw an end pearl through, you will teleport. Whoa. Yeah, sometimes it will have this purple uh, beacon. I wonder where that comes from, actually. Oh, okay, maybe not. Um, then, you want to increase your render distance. So I had mine already at, at about 25 chunks. Usually it'll like be at 12. And then, so, you just want to look around, and there should be, uh, there's an NCU. Well, that was fast. So often it will take longer. Um, so end cities have different kinds of rooms. It always starts off like this with the, these these rooms, but then it will come up and have these long, weird, crazy. Oh, I wonder how. Oh yeah, and they have the banners too, which are really awesome. Um, they will have a, sometimes a, like a room like that. Uh, do they have a treasure room in here? Do they? Here, this one, this one does not have a treasure room. So this one, hope oh, wrong way. Oh, no, not wrong way. Okay, so that was a fairly bad. Um. Entity. And there's another one, so they, they there might be two or three, and there might be just one. And these are called chorus plants. Uh, they're very cool. Uh, yes! No. Wait. Yeah, okay, good. So, this is a bigger <laughs> end city. And I'll just show the, uh, the uh, end ship to you first. So, once you get up, they'll there will sometimes be, I think there's like a 25% chance that an end city will have a, a ship. And you want to take an ender pearl and throw it above the, uh, the crow's nest. So if you take like the distance of the crow's nest and do that, then that's usually about enough to get you onto the ship. And then it will have, you can go up there and uh, it will usually have a brewing stand and this is some of the best they have the, the like some of the best armor and stuff from from chests but i mean if you come to the end you probably already have really good armor um so and then this is the new coolest part of that the game is called the elytra which you probably know from our videos uh, elytra or i think it's actually pronounced elytra um so if you put that on, you should be able to fly by pressing uh, by pressing the spacebar. Yeah. So the way to get back is you come up to the to the mast and then you just fly back. And you if you hold space and let go, it's that's easiest. And uh, so back to the different rooms. So here's the little entry room. Um, we saw this already. And then here, aha, uh -huh. so here is a, this is a treasure room, or one kind of treasure room. They'll have these, like, weird spiraling staircases. And then you, uh, no, you don't go up that. Wait. Okay, so this is not treasure room. I stand corrected. Over here. So here's a different kind of treasure room. So you might not think there's actually a way to get to the top, but there is. So you, you have to climb on the slabs and then actually climb on the end rods themselves since uh, they, they're they solid blocks and you can climb on them. Um, at the top, there is a two chests which have, again, really good stuff inside. And then, oh, looks like there's more. Oh no, that's just the roof. Um, Is 
treasure. Yes, this seems. Is it? Yeah, this was. Uh, um, yeah, this is a treasure room. So this is the other kind of treasure room you'll find, which has an ender chest, and you want to actually jump onto the uh, end rod. Oh, and these are called shulkers. They are like uh, they they disguise as blocks, and then if they shoot you, you fly. So. And again, good loot and an ender chest, which you can break and take home. So those are the different kinds of rooms in an end city. And but now, to get back, to be, to, to get back to uh, your home, you want to game game rule. Uh, keep inventory, and then true. So that way, when you die, you will keep your inventory. So, um, so just in case you made some sort of really cool, I don't know, bow or something while you were here, then you can still keep it. And then you basically just kill yourself. Yeah. So, I will actually keep my stuff, so when I respawn... What's happening to my hand? I still have it. So uh, that uh, concludes our video on how to find and get back from an end city. Thanks for watching.